chapter 19 verse 28 after this when jesus knew that all was now finished he said in order to fulfill the scripture i am thirsty dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ every human being want to quench their thirst every living creature on this earth will always try to quench their thirst and especially we are in the in the hot season we try to have lot of water because we feel always thirsty in today's gospel that we have heard the fifth word that god spoke on the cross he says i thirst even jesus is not so exceptional to have his water that's what it say the identifying the thirst jesus was identifying the thirst if you read in john's gospel chapter 3 we read about the samaritan woman it says when jesus goes to her at a, at the hour of 3 o'clock and ask her give me some water and even if you read in mark's gospel chapter 15 was 25 and 34 it says jesus has been hanging on the cross for 6 hours he was feeling thirsty my dear friends in jesus christ the thirst is a human suffering the thirst is it shows the humanity of every human being that we long to have the water but in today's the word says jesus was thirst for the physical water or the spiritual thirst if you read revelation book of revelation chapter 22 verse 17 it says the spirit and the bride say come and let him who hears say come and let him who is thirsty come let him who desires take the water of life without price my dear friends in jesus christ this is a humiliating thirst when jesus asked for water to a samaritan woman what did she say see you are a jew and i am a samaritan woman how can you ask a water from me there is a rejection and when it comes to today's gospel maybe to today's word the john chapter 19 verse 28 when he said i am going to finish i am thirsty what did they give you they have given him a kind of a full of jar so wine and standing there they are giving a poison to jesus his thirst was not quenched properly his thirst was to save the sinners his thirst was to save all of us but what kind of humiliation that he ever experienced because if we read he says that he created the oceans he created the lakes he created the rivers he created the fountain of water and he commanded every storm to cloud and count every drop of rain these are the qualities and this is the capability of our lord jesus christ but this man today is asking for a water he is asking for a great water he is asking so many people come on i am thirsty give me some water my dear friends in jesus christ in john's gospel chapter 4 was 14 we say but whoever drinks of the water that i shall give him will never thirst the water that i shall give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life this is the water
that God is going to you and to give you and me. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, why did Jesus ask for a water? When he says that I am the living water, I am the eternal water, I am the spring of water, then whoever drinks the water that I give will never be thirsty. The man who said these words and today while hanging on the cross, he was expressing his thirst. He was expressing that I am thirst, give me some water. This is a humiliating, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, in the life of Jesus. Why he has to ask the water. That's what we read the word. He says, in order to fulfill the scripture. In order to fulfill the scripture, he was asking for the water. What kind of scripture? If we read in Psalm chapter 22, verse 15, it says, My strength is dried up like a post herd, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws, though dost lay me in the dust of death. This is a word that the scripture has to be fulfilled. And that's what we read again in Psalm chapter 69, verse 21 also says, they gave me poison for food and for my thirst they gave me a vinegar to drink see my dear friends this is in order to fulfill the scripture the lord was thirsty but what kind of thirst he was expressing to those people what kind of thirst that he was expressing of all those people who were gathered here it says it is not the spiritual, it is not the physical thirst, but the spiritual thirst, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. The thirst is that every sinner should turn back. Every sinner, every sinner has to repent for his sins. When you repent for your sins and when you turn back to your life and look at Christ who is dying on the cross, his thirst will be quenched. His thirst will be fulfilled. The water that he gave is that we need to come back to the Lord and receive and enjoy the blossom that God the Father is giving to all of us. That's the reason that Christ died on the cross. In order to quench the, the, the word, thirst of Jesus, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to repent for our sins. We need to turn back to the Lord, repent for your sins, come back to the Lord and enjoy the eternal bliss. When you turn back from your way, worldly life, when you turn back from your world of ways, when you turn back from your, the heart of stone to your heart of flesh, then Lord thirst will be fulfilled, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. And the second is that we read in Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, he says, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to the one of the least of these who were members of my family, you did it to me. His thirst is there. His thirst is those people who are suffering. His thirst is for those people who are homeless. His thirst is for those people longing to see Jesus Christ. When you try to do these words, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, you are quenching the thirst of our Lord Jesus. If not, his thirst will never be a thirst. His thirst will never become a kind of satisfying thirst. He died on the cross only to prove that I, he loves us so much and that the same love has to be shown to the other people. If you are thirst, if you want to quench the thirst of Lord Jesus, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, repent for your sins and do what he told us to do. These are the things that we need to reflect upon. Christu Nadami Yandu Priya Sahodari Sahodar Lara Nene Jeeva Jalani Nene Chet Vanti Dahani Nirni Taginavaru Yapadiki Koda Dapika Gonaru Vani Palikinati Vanti Ya Christu Prabhu Yirozu Manandari Mundu Silvalo Veladutu Idugo Naku Dahama Guchuna Diani Yantaga Bigaraga Arustu Nadu Vante Idugo Priya Sahodri Sodara I am a Sari Rekamain at Vanti Dahani Kadukani Idugo Adat Nikamain at Vanti Dahamuto Manandari Nikoda Pilistu Nadu Nenu Dahamuto Nanu 
నాకు దాహాన్ని మీరు తీర్చాలి అంటే నాకు దాహాన్ని మీరు ఇదిగో నాకు నీరుగా ఇవ్వాలి అంటే ఆ దాహము మీరు చేసినటువంటి తప్పిదములకు గాను మారు మనసు పొంది తిరిగి దేవుని చెంతకు రావాలి అని దేవుడు మనందరిని కూడా ఆహ్వానిస్తూ ఉన్నాడు అవును ప్రియ సహోదరి సోదరా ఇది మత్తయ్య శుభార్త ఇరవై ఐదవ అధ్యాయము నలభయో వచనంలో మనం చూస్తూ ఉంటాం ఇదిగో ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఇతరులను ప్రేమించడం ఇతరుల కోసం ప్రార్థన చేయడం శత్రువులను ప్రేమించడం శత్రువుల కోసం ప్రార్థన చేయడం ఇలా ఒకరి పట్ల ఒకరు ప్రేమను వ్యక్తపరుచుకుంటూ ఉంటే ఆ విధముగా ప్రియ సహోదరి సోదర దేవునిలో మనందరము కూడా ఆయన చూపించినటువంటి ప్రేమ మార్గాన్ని మనమందరము కూడా మన యొక్క పనుల ద్వారా మన యొక్క క్రియల ద్వారా మన యొక్క చేతల ద్వారా ఎప్పుడైతే మనము చూపిస్తూ ఉంటామో ఆ విధముగా దేవుని యొక్క దాహాన్ని మనందరం కూడా తీర్చిన వారముగా అవుతూ ఉంటాం కావున ప్రియ సహోదరి సహోదరులారా ఈ యొక్క ఐదవ మాటలో దేవుడు నాకు దాహం అవుచు ఉన్నది అనేటువంటి సందర్భంలో దేవుని యొక్క దాహాన్ని తీర్చేటువంటి బిడ్డలుగా మనందరం కూడా జీవించాలి అని ఆ దేవాతి దేవుని ప్రార్థన చేద్దాం మన్నని చావు బండ నుండి నీటిని వెలికి తీసావు ఆకలి తీర్చిన ఆత్మదేవా తీచరా తెరిచానయ్యా 